Well, it looks like Marvel Studios is finally figuring out the story that they want to go with for the multiverse saga in the MCU, but unfortunately, that means that some other stories and some other projects are going to have to be put on the back burner for now. And this can be viewed as both good and bad. Overall, it's pretty good. But for example, the fact that Robert Downey Jr. came back and now we get Avengers Doomsday instead of the Kang Dynasty, which is what they previously had planned, their schedule has changed and some of their projects have changed as well, like the Scarlet Witch solo movie, which is something that a lot of people are talking about right now. And most of the insiders still state to this day, the movie is coming. However, it looks like it might be coming after Avengers Secret Wars. And that could be a pretty big bummer to some people. However, all of the insiders also state that she is going to have a big role to play in Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. So just because she is not getting the solo movie before Avengers Secret Wars does not mean that she is not coming back before. In fact, when it specifically comes to Scarlet Witch and her role in the MCU and the solo movie that is rumored that she is going to be getting, My Time to Shine Hello said this today. Replying to somebody who said, can we just accept that the Scarlet Witch has become the new face of the MCU? She's easily the most talked about and anticipated character right now, and her impact is undeniable. Well, thanks to Agatha all along, yes, she certainly is being talked about a lot right now, especially because her son is in Agatha all along. And of course, we're getting the Vision Quest series, and when you hear Vision in the MCU, you automatically think about the Scarlet Witch. So sure, everybody is talking about her right now, and she certainly could be the face of the MCU, along with, let's say, Spider-Man and maybe Doctor Strange as well. But my time to shine Hello replied, Marvel Studios is aware of this. It's why they are making three spinoffs to her show, plus a Scarlet Witch movie, and give her a major role in the Avengers movies. And in fact, the insider Daniel RPK also replied to the same tweet, and he stated, her and Spider-Man for sure. Which, yeah, totally. Totally makes sense, Spider-Man is a huge, just, character in general. Some might say he's the most popular superhero in the world, definitely could be debated. Definitely one of the most popular ones, and people really do tend to love Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So no doubt he will be one of the big faces of the MCU, but the Scarlet Witch being one of the big faces as well, coming in in Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars will be absolutely crazy to see. Even if we have to wait until after Secret Wars to see a solo movie, that's okay. But we are going to have to wait until after Secret Wars to see other projects that we've been waiting for as well. But again, this is going to be because of the story that the MCU is currently setting up. But insider Alex Perez stated that some projects like Nova and the Midnight Suns and the Scarlet Witch solo movie, they're going to come after Secret Wars. The Twitter or X account MCU Film News tweeted about Spider-Man. 4 and they stated that Tom Holland mentions that the challenge with Spider-Man 4 is finding the right spot in the timeline to best serve the larger storyline. And for those of you who might want to know, Tom Holland recently said this about Spider-Man 4, we're working now, pedal is to the metal, we're trying to get it going as soon as possible, but there's still a lot of moving pieces that need to come together for us to hit the ground running. And Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus responded with this, he said, this is the main reason why a lot of the films and projects you guys want to see, Nova, Scarlet Witch, Midnight Suns, EDC, are on the back burner. Because they want to focus on the multiverse saga and wrap things up to go on to the next saga. So to put very plainly, this means that a lot of projects that Marvel Studios in the past, before Robert Downey Jr.'s return and the whole Kang situation happened, they were planning on a lot of these projects happening before Avengers Secret Wars in Phase 6 of the MCU, but now they are taking some of these projects that don't necessarily fit and they are pushing them back basically until after Avengers Secret Wars. Now, Midnight Suns being put on the back burner doesn't really come as that big of a surprise. Based off of what we've heard about Blade and him setting up the Midnight Suns, Blade is basically supposed to be the Nick Fury of the darker supernatural side of the MCU. And we did already kind of get a little glimpse of this with the post credit for The Eternals where we hear Blade talking to Dane Whitman aka the Black Knight. That part was supposed to be kind of a Nick Fury showing up to talk to Iron Man about the Avengers. Basically, Blade is the Nick Fury of the supernatural Avengers, aka the Midnight Suns. So the story that we saw there with Dane Whitman, that's on the back burner. From what we know, the Eternals, that's way in the back burner. So the judgment from the Celestials and everything like that, 
back burner. Star Fox and Pip the Troll, back burner. Now, unfortunately, this also means Nova is put on the back burner as well. I know a lot of fans had hoped that we would get Nova before the end of Secret Wars. It would make sense for him to be involved in this, and perhaps we still could get very much a variant of Nova in Avengers Secret Wars. But here's the issue, and here's why these projects are being pushed back. And it's what is being reported right now that Marvel is kind of having issues with, and that is finding places in the story timeline of the MCU to put their big movies. Now, I was surprised to hear that Scarlet Witch is not going to get a spot. It made sense for her to get her own movie in this saga. However, her story has been told in a lot of different projects so far. So she can definitely show show up and everybody knows who she is, everybody knows what her story is, and you can tell more of her story in movies like Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars. The problem with other projects like the Midnight Suns and Nova is that you have to introduce new people. You have to start a new story and it's hard. So that's why these projects are going to get put on the back burner. And it sounds like Marvel's going to simply focus on the stories that they've already established in the MCU. But even then, it sounds like it's still pretty hard for them right now. They're having trouble finding out where Spider-Man 4 is going to go. And it's interesting because that will probably determine if Spider-Man 4 is going to be a grounded street level movie or a giant multiversal movie. We've heard that Tom Holland is basically filming Spider-Man 4 and Avengers Doomsday at the same time, so if they decide to release it before Doomsday, it's probably street level and grounded, but after, sounds like it's pretty much going to have to be a big multiversal movie. And based off of what we've heard about Venom and Null entering, and possibly Andrew Garfield, and possibly Tobey Maguire as well, it sounds like it's going to be pretty big. But the continuity is what matters the most, which is why some of these projects are either going to be pushed back or even canceled. For example, it sounds like Armor Wars, that might not be happening anymore. We've recently heard that some of the major plot points for Armor Wars went to Vision Quest. And Don Cheadle recently, when asked for an update and asked what's going on, he basically said, hey, if you find out, you let me know, stating that he pretty much doesn't know. Unfortunately, I think that this, again, is another one of those stories that has to be put on the back burner because, well, Marvel kind of dug themselves into a hole with the whole story from Secret Invasion. We'd have a lot of catching up to do with Rhodey since he has pretty much been in a coma since Civil War. I mean, it wasn't even him and Endgame. And Michael Giacchino even recently gave us some insights on a follow-up to Werewolf by Night, and he stated, There's been a lot going on in the industry and everyone's sort of recalibrating. I think certain things had to be put aside for the moment. We'll get there. Now, the follow-up is Midnight Sun, so this obviously confirms right here. Since Marvel is recalibrating, they had to put that aside, but they'll get there eventually, and Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus even replied to this, stating, the story continues, dot, 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 post Secret Wars. So it really looks like Marvel Studios has a very clear-cut plan for the multiverse saga right now, and unfortunately, but also kind of fortunately, because continuity and story matters, some projects are getting pushed to after Secret Wars. Some might even be canceled. But it's nice to hear that they are taking so much time, they're putting so much effort and care into what the rest of the multiverse saga is going to be. And like I said, just because somebody doesn't get their own solo project doesn't mean that they can't show up in any of the Avengers films or in the multiverse saga in general, like the Scarlet Witch. She might not get the solo movie until after, but she'll be a big part of the multiverse saga. So kind of good news, kind of bad news. Go ahead. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things with the MCU. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.